G'day everyone, Matt Elder of MattElder.com and in this video we're going to look at how you can put together a Lego Ninjago birthday theme or just a general ninja theme. We'll look at the different elements you can put together yourself and some items you can generally buy cheaply to complement. We'll also look at a couple of custom Lego build mocks we've made to complete the theme. The instructions are available for free on our website MattElder.com so you can also give it a build if you are inclined to do so. We have given this ninja theme a Lego slant but there's nothing to stop you making a more broad general ninja theme and possibly reducing the specific Lego elements. We've mixed the two together here and works well without elements being too jarring next to each other. You can go as elaborate as your budget allows. The bulk of the items can be sourced and made relatively cheaply. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. We know that kids parties can get quite expensive really quickly, particularly if you end up with a lot of kids. We will provide affiliate links to most of the products so you can easily find them without having to scour the internet trying to find a needle in a haystack. We may get a small commission but goes a long way to helping out our small channel. As can be seen in the video, it is everything we use for our own party. Over time some of the links may become dead as generally dealing with smaller retailers. Usually a general search of the item name will give an alternate seller or a close substitute. The first thing to do is to choose a colour scheme. In this case we went with the red and black. You could just as easily do anything with black if your kid has a particular favourite character or colour. This helps to keep all the pieces looking like they belong together. One thing you'll get a lot of mileage out of quickly is the Lego Ninjago eye stickers. You can put them on pretty much anything. Things with solid single colours work best though. Once you've done so, it instantly turns that object into an impression of a Lego ninja head. Simply take the sticker and apply it to something like a balloon. Job done. You can also use more generic eyes and works in a very complimentary way. It is easy enough to get red and black balloons or pretty much any colour you'd want. We've even used them on the drink beverage dispenser, paper lanterns and lollipops. Next up are these inflatable ninja swords. What little one doesn't want to unleash their inner ninja by role playing with swords. Being the inflatable kind, these can be played with in relative safety. Let's have a look at what other decorative elements can be used. The backdrop is a ninja themed happy birthday banner. Watch out for the throwing stars and swords! We also got this party decorations pack which included the lanterns, crepe paper streamers, ninja balloons in black, red and white, and three pom poms each in black and red. We also got a helium canister for the balloons, which says it will do 50 balloons. You can get bigger or smaller canisters depending upon the number of balloons you have. Along with any helium, you're going to need some novelty balloon weights to stop the balloons flying off or just tie it to a chair or similar. Naturally, you can also get Lego Ninjago balloons like this one that you can inflate yourself with the helium canister. If you have no clue on the Lego Ninjago characters and mythology, you can always pick up a Lego Ninjago encyclopedia like this one and impress your kids. Or they'll thank you for the included mini figure. You can also get personalized Lego Ninjago pop-up cards like this one, so the whole gang of warriors are there for your child. We designed and built our own Lego cupcake stand. You can build it yourself from pretty standard Lego bricks. We have created free instructions and tried to build them from commonly found bricks. There should be a link around this video to our website madelder.com with full details. We also have another video showing how to make it and where to source parts. We have continued to use it at other parties and events. Here it is at our other son's Jurassic Park dinosaur birthday party. The cupcake stand was done with a yin yang design to match the theme of the party and the colour scheme as well. It could be easily modified to any colour scheme you may have for your own party. It is quite strong and supported a 12 pound weight so the top could easily be used just to hold a full cake. We also had this Ninja Temple cupcake foam stand if you aren't feeling that creative or plan on having many 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 cupcakes. The cupcakes themselves are regular cupcakes with pre-cut Lego Ninjago movie stand up edible cake toppers. Now there's a mouthful. Another custom built Lego element was this Master Wu minifig we made in Lego bricks and stands about 2 feet high or 60 centimeters tall. This was a centerpiece that all of our son's friends loved and make them think that they're at Legoland. It was a real hit. Again, there will be a link around the video to instructions and another video showing exactly how it was made. 
My son helped build it and was thrilled with his bragging rights about it and being involved in helping to organize the party. We also managed to pick up this Lego piñata, which the kids really had to hack at to get in at the sweets and candy. Once the candy was falling out, there was a mass stampede for all the sweets. You've never seen kids move so quickly like vultures. Parents certainly didn't want to get in the way as they'd be taking no prisoners. We used this wooden sword to whack, hack and slice into the piñata. The plates, cups, napkins and the table cover with the ninjas and Asian script was all from a single ninja party kit. That helped to be the one stop solution for dealing with the drinks and munchies. We also got a generic pack of 10 inch eco friendly premium hard plastic food containers with lids. We could throw into those any of the other snack size serving portions of goodies the kids could then have ready access to. Given Lego Ninjago have snake enemies, we cut this cucumber in the shape of a snake with tomato eyes and carrot fangs, something the kids got a real kick out of. The eyes are held in place with these cocktail sword appetizer picks. These had the additional benefit that the kids loved playing with them, so doubled as a toy that they got a lot of enjoyment out of. We had also ordered a Victorian jar pick and mix snakes to complement this. We also picked up some 5 liter screw top drink dispensers and stuck some Lego eye stickers on them. We also had an existing Lego Ninjago clock, always helpful for keeping track of the time and helping little ones to learn how to tell the time. The Lego brick cases were lunch boxes from a previous visit at Legoland Windsor UK. Click around the video for a 3 minute tour of the park and everything you need to know before going. Party bags. Now onto the all important goodie bag kids get to take away with them from the party. This is me struggling to get a shot with one hand tipping the contents out yet filming with the other. The gift box is a ninja themed one in a bit of a temple shape. We start off with those ninja eyes being applied to lollipops that we managed to get in bulk. Next up a packet of fortune cookies so our brave little ninjas can know their destiny. A ninja noodle pot, a gummy noodle with candy sauce and candy chopsticks. A Ninja Jet Balls Bouncy Super Ball. Lego Water Transfer Tattoos. What kid doesn't love a good tattoo? Pick a toy Stretchy Flying Ninjas. I guess you have to be a kid to understand the appeal of these. Novelty Place Premium Quality LED Party Finger Lights for Kids. A little light for that nighttime ninjaring. The birthday child themselves can have their own ninja costume. These are readily available from thrift stores, pound or dollar shops, or for anyone planning in advance, you should be able to find one in the discount bin following Halloween. Alternatively, Amazon invariably has them as well. Otherwise, it doesn't take much to pull one together. A bit of cloth for a bandana with a painted logo on it can go a long way. A YouTube search will also come up with many videos that will show you step by step how to create one. Or if you want something that can be used every day past the party, you can get one of these great print t-shirts. If your child happens to do martial arts, you could just as easily use their gi or karate whites. Another idea was having the local martial arts club acting as hosts. Anyone with active boys will know that directing this fighting energy in a good direction can be a blessing. Thus some structured activities around the ninja theme with its own novelty and uniqueness. Even had the really special element of cutting the cake with a samurai sword, one of those little details that the kids always remember and rave about. How often do you get to cut a cake with a real samurai sword? Mind you, it is razor sharp. For the birthday cake, we got a store bought chocolate cake. We then added one of these personalized toppers, so ended up with a personalized Lego Ninjago cake and spent very little on it. The main candle burning here is a sparkler candle which gives the cake an added wow factor while burning like a firecracker. It is also the type of theme that lends itself to doing it at your own home if you want to keep the cost down and brave enough having your household overtaken by little kids. The one downside is you have to clean up yourself, whereas sometimes after spending a couple of hours on parent duty for a kids party you'd rather a drink than the prospect of having to clean up the mess and leftover chaos. You do however spend the week beforehand hoping for a nice sunny day as the prospect of a horde of kids inside the house for a party on a rainy day is not a fantastic idea. Always pros and cons. We didn't have enough seating for everyone so picked up some additional wicker garden furniture like this. It's sturdy, strong and comes with a rain cover so something that will last beyond the party. In our area you have insects to deal with and nothing worse than them getting all over the food the guests are about to eat. We picked up a couple of these flycatchers, discreetly placed them around the garden and they worked pretty well. 
Naturally, you can have the standard party games of musical chairs, pass the parcel, etc. Another simple game is to have a jar full of Lego and get kids to guess how many Lego pieces there are in the jar, with a prize being awarded for the closest to it. If you have the space and inclination, you can always add in a bouncy castle hire as well. Around this video should be a link to our website and a checklist of all these different ideas and things for the party. So you can download the checklist with links to have everything in one convenient spot. That rounds out our list of different elements for the party so you can have a great and memorable do-it-yourself DIY Lego Ninjago birthday party theme. So a quick recap of what we've covered. Start off by choosing your colour scheme. You'll need to get general decorations for the party area. In doing a Lego party, kids will invariably have Lego. See if you can get them involved by making some decorations for the party. You'll need to get things for the kids' party bags. You'll need to keep your kids occupied, so have a think about activities and games to keep them amused. Consider reaching out to your local martial arts club and see if they are available. Consider a costume for your child, don't forget the birthday cake, and have a great time. They grow up so fast. Are there any other obvious ideas and things we've missed out on? Let us know in the comments below. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. Thanks very much for watching. Here are some other videos you might find of interest. And until next time, when we talk about all things LEGO.